The world of photography, where every moment can be frozen in time with a single click. But how do cameras turn what we see into pixels on a screen? It all starts with light. After all, photograph means drawing with light. It enters through an aperture and is focused via a lens arrangement onto an image sensor, a CMOS chip with millions of photodiodes, each representing a single pixel. Now, picture each photodiode as a silicon burger, with pure silicon as the meat and impure silicon as the buns. The top P side has boron added. Its missing electrons create holes. The bottom N side has phosphorus, giving it free electrons which fill up the holes. When a photon of light strikes, it transfers its energy to an electron by the photoelectric effect. It moves to the N side and leaves a hole. This electron hole pair increases the strength of the electric field across the gap. Its strength is proportional to the incident light intensity. Each photodiode is connected to a transistor, which feeds and amplifies the flow of charge into an ADC, with each cell in the array being assigned a binary value corresponding to the brightness. And voila, the processor constructs a grayscale image. But we're not in the 1800s. Our photos have color, all thanks to color filter arrays. They're like these movie glasses, but with red, green, and blue filters in the buyer pattern. Only the matching wavelengths of light pass through, so the sensor only records the intensity of one color at each pixel. But this looks a little bit strange. No worries, an interpolation algorithm steps in to estimate the other two RGB values. It may not be the true color, but it's a good approximation for sensors smaller than your pinky nail. Phone cameras have absolutely revolutionized our world. Next time you snap a photo, think about their incredible engineering.